how to reset the HP 630 laptop back to the factory default so if you have a problem with your computer you can uh, reset it back to the default so say your computer is running really slow or missing files or have a virus on the computer you can uh, reset it back to the factory default so here is the HP computer so what we do we're just gonna go into the start button then we want to uh, click on all programs and click on recovery manager and then click on recovery manager then click on yes and we just wait for the program to load Here, click on I need immediate help from there. Click on system recovery, then click on OK, then click on OK. So, you need to close all the program and reboot the computer. So, we're going to uh, start to do the reboot. Click on the start button, then click on restart. So, the, what the computer do is it will shut down and boot up into the recovery mode. So we just wait for the computer to lock off and shut down. So if you're getting a, a rise or the computer is running really slow, this is what you can do. Okay, it's just loading some files, getting the computer ready to uh, uh, recover. So just be a little bit patient and the computer will load. Okay, here it is, it's loading up. So from this uh, recovery manager, what you want to do is to click on system recovery on the left hand side. Then you can either back up your files first or you can, uh, if you don't have any files, important files, you can simply recover without backup your files and click on next. Yeah, so using this program to recover your computer to its original factory conditions. If you're happy, click on next. And then now, when you have done that, uh, the computer will automatically start to uh, uh, factory uh, restore so we just have to wait for the progress bar to complete once it is uh, completed you can click on the finish button and then uh, it will start to um, uh, reboot the computer and it will set up your computer again and that's all you have to do that's pretty much it so once um, once the recovery manager finished simply restart your computer then once it restarts, it will um, proceed to do some more things, but everything is um, pretty much automated. And once you, um, once this has finished, you just have to put in some details to get your uh, computer back up and running again. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video.